how to um, start your own YouTube channel by understanding the difference between copyrights, trademarks, and patents. Eddie Smith, he's a commenter here, asked me about that, about how to get a copyright. Uh, here in the United States, we have a culture, a culture of creativity and inventiveness. And the last thing people want is for someone to copy their, their idea, steal their intellectual property. And is it worth protecting? Anytime you create any piece of content, whether you write a book, or you post something to a blog post, or you post something here to YouTube, or you do anything creative that came from your brain, it's automatically copyrighted under United States copyright law. Because you don't even have to do anything, it's yours. It's just, if you just want to let people know that you've reserved all your copyrights, you put the C with a circle around it, and then they know. But, it's just redundant. Now, copyright means you reserve all rights and that nobody can copy or replicate anything that you do, right? Now, the truth is, is there is a thing called fair use when someone can take something, if they're teaching or if they're gonna use your thing as an example of something. Fair use has its point, but at some point, um, you know, even fair use won't won't get you won't get you too far uh, another thing another type of copyright different license is called creative commons check out creative commons website they've uh, you know there's always been either public domain anybody can do anything they want with it or copyright you hold all your rights and reserves and nobody can do anything with it creative commons tries to fill that massive void between the two that's what Creative Commons does and so if you're interested like you know some people like if I created uh, stock if I b-roll I could put that out for people to use and I could either put it in public domain that they can do whatever they want with it or I could say Creative Commons and use one of their licenses that says hey I want you can use the work but I want you to give me a credit for it somewhere in your content fair right all right so that's copyright it's automatically covered and you can either choose copyright f reserve all your rights to the material or you can put it all in public domain for anybody to use or you can cre get creative commons and fill the gap in between somewhere ac according to your liking anytime you create a logo or a maybe even a slogan. Uh, there's a registered trademark and an unregistered trademark. If you get on Fiverr and have somebody make you a trade, or make you a logo for five bucks and you start using that logo, that logo is your trademark. It's not registered. You can put the T with an M encircled around it and that's an unregistered trademark. You can take people to court if you want over it. They're copying your trademark. It's your trademark. It lets people know that you are, in fact, trading under this name, this logo, this icon, this, this tap on your screen, whatever. It's your trademark. Like if you look at the logo for this channel, Black Warrior Lures, the little stamp that I have, that is a trademark. I trademark under the name of Black Warrior Lures. And, and, I, and I have a logo, I have a design and all that, you know. Think about when you buy a pack of M&Ms. Those M&Ms, that's a trademark. You know, if I start marketing under M&Ms, right, <laughs> right, I'm probably, M&M Mars is probably gonna give me a, a phone call or a cease and desist letter. Right, so it's a different so sort of thing. It's not a copyright, it's a trademark. Registered trademarks are registered with the Copyright and Patent Office. You can register your trademark, and a lot of big companies will do that. Like your Microsofts and your... I mean, you don't have to be a big company to do it, and I don't know the pricing and all that. You probably need to get you a trademark lawyer or something. Wait, so in addition to copywriting, you can also trademark once you get a logo and all that kind of thing going. If you're going to invent something, like um, <laughs> in the bottom of the boat, like these floats that I sell, 
you can get a patent for it. There's two kinds of patents as I understand. There's there's patents, uh, there's design patents and utility patents. Don't ask me the difference, I'm not familiar with it. I could probably get something like a utility patent for this thing. It wouldn't do any good, <laughs> right? Because it's just a simple, this is design has been around for a hundred years, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? So I could patent maybe the way I attach the swivel to the float, maybe. This particular type of swivel to the float, maybe. I could patent maybe the material, uh, whatever. It didn't matter. Uh, but if you want to protect your idea, you can get a patent or a utility or a design patent. You're going to have to go to the U.S. Patent Office, Trademark Patent Office, to see the differences to educate yourself there. You know, Eddie was asking about, he had a perfect name for his YouTube channel. Didn't want anybody to steal it or anything. Asking how did he get a copyright and all that. Now, here's the reality. People spend too much time trying to protect their little idea than actually getting out here and executing their idea. I've seen this over and over and over. I've studied business and things over. You know, unless you, I mean, I could probably get some sort of utility, basic utility patent for this, but the only thing somebody will do is replace this type of swivel with a different type of swivel, or replace this swivel with a different type of eyelet on there, and they get around the patent, All right? I have Black Warrior Lures as my trademark. All right, it's not registered, but it is my trademark. Well, okay, great. You can just, somebody can go, they, somebody looks at my trademark, they like the general design of my stamp, that stamp type logo. They just go to Fiverr and they go get a trademark for their rivers. Let's say their river is whatever river. They just get, hey, I, I like this type of logo but I like just give it make it whatever river.com <laughs> and change the colors to green instead of brown well it, <laughs> right? it's, it's you know it don't have to be exactly like mine and it may be a completely different design if I'm gonna write a book on handline fishing which I have it's on teachable you, you think I'm the only person in the world who's gonna write a book on handline fishing in fact there's already someone else I know who's who's already written a nice book that inspired me to write mine. Think about how many books on fishing are out there. Fishing fishing books that cover exactly the same techniques. It's it's their original work, but it doesn't mean that somehow just because I write a book on handline fishing that nobody else in the world can write a book on handline fishing. What I advocate is that you spend your time how are you going to market it? How are you gonna sell it? How are you gonna position it in the marketplace so people see you and recognize your brand and your logo? It does no good to have all these patents, trademarks, and reserving all your copyrights if all you're gonna do is just sit on it and have it protected and so nobody else will take it. It's hard to say, but people just don't give a rip. Right? They don't give a rip. They don't. The only reason people watch the content I put out is because it relates to them and what they want to do. They come, they see I'm jug fishing and they want to get some jug fishing ideas. They don't give a rip that I'm called Black Warrior Lures. Okay? They, don't, they don't give a rip that I wrote a book about handline fishing. They don't give a rip that I you know, invented these or my dad invented them and I just sort of took the design and, and perfected them. They don't care. <laughs> The only thing they care about is catching fish in whatever method they're choosing. Now, if they're interested in floats, and I really want these to be sort of an open design, I, I actually want people to take, that's why I show people how to do it, so they can take it and make, make it their own. Here's the reality. If you have a successful idea, a successful idea, product, service, book, movie, whatever, I guarantee you if it's successful, somebody's gonna copy it and get around the copyright, trademark, and patent that you think you're protecting it with. They just get around it, right? I've seen, I remember when I first started making these, there was a guy on the Texas uh, fishing forum that actually was copying my floats and selling them on the forum, right? He changed the this part and started using just a screw-in type of, of um, eyelet and just screwed it in and he, and he wasn't painting them at all he was just selling them for super dirt cheap 
And when I got there and started showing people mine, people were like kind of shocked that he had sort of copied my idea. I wasn't that shocked. It's a little disappointing. But the reality is, if you have a good product, a good idea, people are going to copy it. And they'll get around the in this various uh, things that you have set up to protect it. This idea that you're gonna have a monopoly on something is bogus in a free market society. I don't mind people copying the idea. I just would rather people who are gonna make these for themselves take the idea and take it beyond what I can do it, right? Because I can only think so much. And I've seen some people who've really come up with some inventive ways to replace the stem swivel I have. I didn't start with this, but this is where it's gone for me. I've seen some, I've seen one fella who he's used a regular swivel and, 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 and lashes it onto here. Great. Uh, if he wants to sell them on eBay, go ahead. I mean, I mean, there's another YouTuber who had, who had taken my floats like this. Obviously, if just from the language, from the, from the language you use, he obviously found mine and just then kind of made a much shorter version and actually shaped the cork and made his own and put that up. If you have a successful idea, somebody's gonna copy it and they're gonna find a way around the copyright by just making it their own original work. The trademark, they'll just come up with their own logo and their own brand and the patent by replacing vital parts that you've patented and coming up with something else. My whole point is, it's far more important to market your idea and, and, and position it in the marketplace so that by the time those copiers come around, they just can't catch up. The guy who was copying these and selling them on the Texas fly fishing forum, and nobody's, I, last I heard, he hauled off and went to somewhere in Southeast Asia, but I'm still around selling them. It's the reality of it. I'm in it for the long haul. He was just in it for a quick buck. <laughs> right? All about the marketing and the positioning of your product idea in the marketplace, even just the idea for your YouTube channel. If you have a great idea for a YouTube channel, what you need to do is go start the YouTube channel. And you need to go reserve the URL for the website. And you need to go on and get on Twitter and Facebook and LinkedIn and, 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 and Pinterest and all those social media places and reserve that name now, don't wait. Don't think about protecting your idea. Think about getting out here and marketing your idea. Ideas are only good as well as they're marketed, you know. So, uh, so you got to spend some time on the marketing, and that's uh, that's what I got for you today. My jugs aren't doing anything today, but I really came out here to get some footage more than fishing. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell, because I'm going to keep these videos coming. And I'm probably going to offer some services like some channel review services and some uh, teaching things that I can work with people one-on-one -on -one, uh, very closely with, in helping getting their YouTube channel set up and those things like that. Let me know if you're interested in that. Just comment below. And uh, I'll talk to you later.